Hello everyone, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy, where I just about nearly dropped my keyboard. Because my foot was on the wall. Yes, I put my keyboard in my lap. No, I probably won't stop doing that for quite a while. Well, there's quite a number of uh, side missions I have here. But, I have... A troll to take care of! Let us commence the troll beatings. Or Alexandra's friend. Defender, expelliarmus. 
Ow. Ow. Got him. You should think they might have been awful for Alexandra, but the hammer needed to be saved from that troll. He was able to keep it in one spot, so there's that. How nice to see you, my young. I hope you avoided my troll. Nope, I went straight for it. It's done, Alexandra. I took care of him. My troll? What? Oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. I wish things could have turned out differently for him. There wasn't much he could have done. He was beyond training. Tried to kill me the entire time. Goodness. I'm glad you're all right. You're very brave. People in the hamlet had already crafted a moniker for whoever eventually defeated my... I mean, that troll. It was troll something or other. Slayer, probably. Slayer? Yes, that was it. I suppose it's your title now. I need some time on my own. But truly, thank you for what you did. Because that's hard to figure out. Troll Slayer. Has a nice ring to it. Did you deliver the Chinese chomping cabbages to my friend Bernard yet? Not yet. I'm about to get on it.
Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. You're doing pretty good so far. Oh, that must be a... Completion. Knowing the meat, he's likely studied here. There we go. Oh, Vista Crow. It's not very hidden. At the this. What do you have in store for me then? I keep hitting E when I want to use F. Rebellion. Is that uh, one of those fire cauldron things? Yeah. One down there, one over there. Usually three of these things. Not so tricky after all, nope. Merlin. Ah, there you are. Going to get his cabbages. Oh, more balloons.
crate of Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. You want to chomp brave? You weren't there when I outran that in Rumford. Only downside of being so lovable, that is. Everything wants a bit. You should never have come here. Perhaps I'll scout around Felcroft for something to poach. I heard something. One in one. Come, Ringo! Oh boy. The beasts are safer now. Hello, Hamora. Do cooperate, won't you? Place Rebellion. That's one crate in hand. I only need one more. I have some new glasses to wear. Rebellion. Gumption to steal a stolen hippogriff. Oh, Notice you ain't wearing that goblin helm, you stop. You're the little sod that saved Treadwell. A friend? Oh, 
one less Revelio. Lohamora. There we go. Gotcha. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Let's have a look, shall we? So nice of you to stop by. This looks intriguing. Oh. Mother's rolling in her grave. Pardon me, sir. Come to stare at the fool, have you? There's poor Rick Haggerty, robbed by his own sister. Ah, she's robbed almost everyone now. So, who's the fool? I, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Good riddance, I said. Never thought she'd return a steal from me. But us, but I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom. Sister or no. Hmm. What exactly was the family heirloom that the thief stole? A necklace belonged to the first of the Haggerty women. Hundreds of years old. So much history. She'll likely pawn it. Why would Katrin come back to rob the house if she'd already left? Do I look like a criminal to you? How should I know? She always despised this place. Resented having to grow up here. Perhaps she did it to spite us. Are you sure Katrin is the culprit? It could be anyone. Thanks to that Rookwood louse, we're inundated with all manner of criminal. I wanted to believe it was any one of them except Katrin. 
But she was the only one who knew where the heirloom was hidden, and she knew precisely which homes to rob. I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. You? Ugh. Nothing to be done by the likes of us. This is a job for the fine officer singer, or some such authority. Besides, the thief, my sister, only strikes at night. Coward. Long past your bedtime. What do you have for sale? I'd keep an eye on your belongings if I were you. Clattering or steal the eyebrows off your... I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty once night falls. Thank you for your patronage. Afraid you'll need deeper pockets for that. Glad you were able to stop by. Waiting until Early night. Tonight, I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty. Mr. Haggerty, can you remind me what we spoke about? I told you about my thieving sister, Catherine. Ran off with a family heirloom and goodness knows what else from our neighbors. I should be going now. Thank you. Probably using nifflers. A pile of gold. I must be on the right track. It looks as if the thief took more than they could carry. Rebellion. I must be getting closer. Too late for you to learn the error of your ways. Revelio. See what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Good for you. Merlin Charles won't get the best of me.
Revelio. I should investigate. Confringo! Defendo! Rebellion! Still don't know that spell. Rebellion. Protagoras. <laughs> Niffler. It wasn't Captain Haggerty after all. Rebellion. Must be the Haggerty family heirloom. It's rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. I have some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I unmasked your thief. Nothing to unmask, was there? We all know that the thief was my sister, Katrin. Actually, sir, the thief was a Niffler. A, a, a what? You know, small, furry, pilfering. I followed it to its lair. Catelyn was the only one who knew how to get into our homes, where to find our treasures. But I suppose, you mangy little blighter. Well, if you found the Niffler's lair, as you say, you must have found my heirloom. As a matter of fact, I did. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. Catherine's or a do disappointment I? for certain, but I never wanted to believe she was behind this. Now, thanks to you, I won't have to. 
What a strange world we live in. Suppose they can't send a Niffler to Azkaban. At least I got my heirloom back. Indeed. Now, to deal with the cabbage. What do you think do I need? Five of them. Caribou. Seems quiet. Seems quiet. Good for you. Oh. Up for a bit of dying, are we? I can see why Feldcroft needs help. Ranrock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have the other crate of Chinese chomping cabbages. The traffic is tight. That's all the crates of Chinese chomp and cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend and fell Oh, it's a sheep. Oh. 
Oh. Wonder who lives here. Hello there. Do you have the special delivery? Hello, Mr. Ndi. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? Yes, I, I do. I have them right here. Marvelous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place. Along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. What do you have for sale? At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully this is enough to thwart the goblins. Now, if you like what you bought, be sure to come in and see me again. Well, taking care of the troll and the cabbages. We'll go meet Natty there. Off on another adventure. Where are you, Natty? Gotta wait till more. You are here. Good. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. <laughs> My husband! Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband... is dead! He killed him! Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow! I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Hallow that we need. We will need something more. Or Archie, huh? This must Awful. be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie! Um, Archie, Archie has a Bickle. dragon skeleton. He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope. Revelio, which way he went. There, Archie's footprints. He went this way. 
I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men if like he's Harlow just a child, if we keep running, we'll child. catch up. We must find Archie quickly. Oh, I lost the footprint. Because we have longer legs than him. Look around. Revelio. Oh. Archie Satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Harlow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. This way. really hard to see in the sunlight. I have a bad feeling about this. Harlow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. Revelio. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. This way. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. Let me answer. Nice. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Vestal too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Back here. Okay, fine. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. Got one. Oh! -ho! Male or female? I have a male. There we go. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... We must find Archie. Sorry, I'm being a poacher. <laughs> it's kind of sad that I'm doing this. Rebellion. Do? 
One. Here, flip it here, flip it twice. That'll take care of that. Rebellion. Good for you. I'm just blowing up their shit because I can. Oh god, is there gonna be like a whole dungeon inside? Oh. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Revelio. I know they said it was. <laughs> Random magic! Didn't you hear me? Random magic. Like the whole thing on fire. Well, that's right. We got to save the kid. Revelio. Random magic. Oh, <laughs> 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 I just murdered Catherine Haggerty. <laughs> I'm not hearing things. Help! Can someone help me? There is no tell us. Oh. 
Did you? They got what they deserved. Archie Bickle. How do you know? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. So sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Bucket for you, darling. Mr. and Mrs. Raid, Mr. Filbert, and I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger, just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could I'm sorry, I already angered him through further by letting your son get out. Keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I'm grateful what happened to Mr. Bickle. The poor widow and son. He was a good man, he was. Oh, at least that boy is safe. Can you imagine if Joanna had lost... Okay, let's head to... Go see what Deke has for us. Are they now? Need to use my Mandarin. to talk with you when you have a moment.
take care of this, shall we? said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... <gasps> oh. Um... Okay. Seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. A as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the enchanted loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. And Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend.
Okay, where's that little blue niffler? He's the only one I haven't collected material yet. There he is. There we go. You should be proud of all the potions you brewed. Come on, grab the knot grass break. There we go. next Go take care of this spinner's cavern. I had hogs meat and sell the extra bit, the have extra animals I have. Your field guide. I'm most pleased. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Thank you for all that you've done for us. An astronomy table. Should prove useful once the sun's down. Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned.
There we go. Is Leo the lion? Again, not hidden. Leo is normal constellation. The Ministry ought to loosen the reins on the Dark Arts. No better way to... Oh, and he just fell into a pit of death. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. <laughs> this must be Tobbs's cave. I suppose I should head inside. Oh, yeah. Into spinners, Gavin. Can bring up. Rebellion. Hobbs's master is awful. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Rebellio. Rodeo! Defendo! Confrey! Expelliarmus! Rebendo! Rebellion.
Rebellion. Protego. Confringo. Defender. Expelliarmus. Oh. Rebellion. Big one. Looks as if Tops was there some time ago. He must have headed deeper into the cave. Good for you. Defender. Expelliarmus. Defender. Defender. Hey, get that, that of all up. Confringo, Defender. Confringo. Rebellion. Incendio. Oh, there you go. Confringo, defender, expelliarmus, incendio. Ow. Confringo, defender, expelliarmus. Confringo, expelliarmus, incendio. That didn't sound particularly reassuring. Incendio! Rebellio! Mm -hmm. I know someone who would never be able to get through this part of the game.
Rebellion. <laughs> Incendium. Rebellion. Incendio. Rebellion. There he is. I have a feeling that house elf is Tobbs. Poor Tobbs. Left here alone with the spiders. Rebellion. People are fucking assholes. That table looks familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. That's not. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh, my. Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master when he died. Uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts, too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think if that's all right.
This will be more useful when I have something to identify. Things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. to go find Sebastian. I just noticed that there's an owl on the Rebellion. Rebellion. You're here. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way.
Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. Lumos. Rebellion. There he is. Good luck. Oh, is this? I found it! It's near the Slytherin dorm. Okay. Rebellion. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about, what was it, a scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is best left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pure blood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory. Get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope no. I... We don't regret this. Sebastian! Over here! Incendio! These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics on the list. Lumos. I'll be right back. I gotta go turn this in. Yeah. Okay, fine, okay, okay, okay. Reparo. Confringo! 
There we go. I hope we're ready for this. Repair it. Revelio. Looks like a locked door. We may want to look around. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. The voice is ancient. You hear a voice? It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. Rebellion. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. The door we came from... Incendium! And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. Revelio. Incendio. Good friend. Incendio. On the other side of it. The dial requires focus. Art Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. Oh. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Lumos. Uh, very descriptive. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. See, I see, I see, I see. There we go. Matching the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself, but you got to Lumos. <clears throat> nice work. Noctua references painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. No 
another gate. So Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. That sounded promising. Lumos. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Lumos. Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. And she was my favorite person in the world for it. Okay, snake and some kind of triangle. Is that snake? No. Kind of two pill tadpole. Okay, that's what I'm gonna go with. Okay. Another, not the welcoming sort, was he? There we go. Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Lumos. I spotted something ahead. It looks troubling. What's that on the ground? I think we're locked in. Again. Then Salazar is not yet finished with us. Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. <sighs> Should have known he would have told you. <sighs> and one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. Oh, that spells okay. the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to.
I want to learn the curse, but I won't cast it on you. You need to cast it on me. I shan't forget this. Okay, I've learned Crucio. Ready? I'm ready. Crucio! Yeah! Well, that was pretty cool. Are you all right? That pain, it was excruciating, but I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. I can't believe we're here. Let's put this in with Rebellion. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? He's talking about the change. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. I've been getting an uneasy feeling about this place. Rebellion! Find a way out, please. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. This is way out. I see a way out. Best news I've heard all day. I'm already leaving. <laughs> Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. Rebellion. Is that the church inside the common room? Is that not the church? The chest inside their common room.
Rebellion. Alohomora. Rebellion. I had said I would. You should. You should ask her. Shan't hold my breath for that. Should before the next century. Well, for heaven's sake, get on with it. Milady, would thou take us my hand in dance? Oh, <laughs> I did it. I asked uh -oh. her. Forgetting anything? Rebellion. Uh -oh. Milady. Uh, Milady. Care to dance? What you'd never ask. What a handsome couple we made. <laughs> it's hilariously adorable. Aloha more. Alohomora. To the map chamber. You would be wise not to underestimate this student. Their aptitude for magic is beyond anything I've ever seen. And I've been teaching a long time. It is a joy to have such a student. It can be. There you are. Talking about me, are you? I received your owl. I was able to speak with Lord Gok, the goblin I mentioned before. What did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once, but they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted? I believe he's trustworthy, yes. He seems sincere. And Sirona Ryan trusts him. Very well. Supposing he can be trusted, will he help us get to Ranrock? 
I retrieved a stolen helm. He hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lodgott did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Perhaps that helm will yield some answers. We shall find out. Ranrock is searching for something. I feared as much. I've heard an unusual amount of activity. Goblins and wizards, I surmise, when visiting my portrait at my castle. Rookwood Castle? My former residence, yes. That castle is also the location of your next trial. You didn't see anything? Speak with anyone? I did not. In fact, I did not make myself known. I only recently returned there and did not recognize nor trust anyone that I heard. I stayed out of sight so as not to tempt my portrait's destruction. I'm sorry to tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard in league with Ranrock. My descendant? A dark wizard? I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle immediately. Not only mm. is it the location of the next trial, it is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. I do I wish we had the luxury of time. However, I do not doubt your abilities. Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle. Um, I need to head to Hogsmeade real fast. Probably the brute deck is no. Hogsmeade, here I come. Mind you, don't turn quick. Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a brats and hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently, had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been what someone from America, no doubt. Because we don't even have them here. Anyway, what are you here for? Moon car fur, Derricall feathers. Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derricalls. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of whooper feathers may as well be living in St. Mungo's. Not surprising, I suppose. The choir knows things. Oh, but such marvelous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was, but add it up to here with parents grumbling. Not my uh -huh. fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. Ooh, you should have heard them. No, <laughs> best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> She's a snorter. I like her. Thank you, I will. Take all the time you need. And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. What do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me.
You could never go wrong with those. Good choice, I'd say. I'll not mind seeing you, Rebellion. Here. Consider yourself welcome. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Want to remove some spots? Hello. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Sacarissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Hufflepuff. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But I only want to help the less fortunate. Hmm. That's incredibly nice of you. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But Simple. I've run out of the key ingredient, boobatuba pus. Boobatubas do grow in the Forbidden Forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. What precisely are boobatubas? Disgusting things, really. Covered in protrusions. One needs to squeeze them to collect the pus. They smell simply awful and seem to move on their own. Ugh, I wouldn't go near the things if it weren't for my devotion to my classmates. How on earth did you discover that Boobatuba pus clears one's skin? One cannot rely on spells for all appearance enhancements. The errant cast, for example, could relocate one's eyebrows entirely rather than merely thinning them. My darling and now perpetually surprised-looking neighbor discovered that on her own. Poor thing. I am convinced that beauty potions mm -hmm. are the future. I'm forever looking for ways to make this world a more beautiful place. I suspected that if pure boobatuba pus could cause boils, an altered form would likely reverse such abominations. And I was correct. I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvelous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I <laughs> only need a few boobatubas, but they grow wild, so you'll have to look around. I'd go myself, but Our spotty nah. are counting on you, so you mustn't tarry. Yeah, I'm inside Hogsmeade. I'm not allowed to it's fly the around. In forest for blue tubers. I hope it's worth the risk. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Accio. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Rebellion. 
that a unicorn? It is. It's a shiny one. Gotcha. This is where Sakurissa said to go. And where are those booba tubers? Uh, that's a dead guy. Revelio. Just my luck, a troll. Good for you. Smells awful. Only four more, thank goodness. Rebellion. You got two booby creepers. There's one over there. Should do it. I'd better get back to Zacharissa. <laughs> Yeah, 
Time to head back and hand over these boobo tubers. Indeed, here I come. Sakurissa, I found the booba tubers you needed. Splendid. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. May I have them? Of course. Happy to have found them for you. Thank you. And your payment, of course. Now I can begin perfecting my potion to save our poor pimply peers. Don't know who should be more grateful. I or our unsightly spotty classmates. One day the wizarding world will know my name. And you will have been a small part of it. Just because you didn't want to go. Get the boot. Anyways. All the way to Feldcro Oh, there's a Grab that Wonder who lives here Likely this astronomy table will be best used. Knowing a meat, he's likely studied her. There we go. Horologium. Oh, that sounds familiar. I don't precisely know that one. I'm guessing it's an actual one because the others were. I'll have to look through my. Uh...
What's going on here? Professor Rookwood was right. The place is crawling with Victor Rookwood's lot and Ranrock's loyalists. They're working together, all right, but it is not a friendly alliance. I'm sure you'll agree that we need to find a way in other than the front gate. Let's go. What I need is invisibility. Goodbye. Where are the two of you headed? No, don't tell me. I shall see you. Absurd, there. isn't it? Ranrock wants us to find the child, but which child? We could take every child we find to Ranrock. Eventually, we might get the right one. Oh, sounds like a lot of work. Perhaps we just tell him we looked. Well, <laughs> I just told you to sit the fuck down! Revenue. You can't stop Red Rock's Rebellion! Reminds me of the time I nearly fell out of a car at three knots. I was only going to stop so Someone there? our way in. We're inside. Your plan was to dig up half the I country. wouldn't have to dig if you could simply manage to bring me the child. We wouldn't need the child if you hadn't sent a dragon to retrieve the container. I spent months and countless ministry favors tracking. You let them board the carriage. My options were limited once I knew it would be inconveniently beyond my reach of that infernal school. Have you not acquired enough power here? I allowed you to tunnel under my family home. Allowed me? You are here only because you are descended from a keeper and may at some point inadvertently become valuable. We had an agreement. I will share with you the power that I discovered if you locate the stores of magic that are yet to be found. So, Unless you want another demonstration of my power, a power that you one day hope to wield, bring me the child. Uh. We already oh. knew they were after you, but now we know they're digging for stores of magic. And Ranrock knows about the Keepers. Yes, I caught that too. Professor Rookwood said that you'd understand more once you complete the next trial. Let's get into that castle. There we go. Any special words you want me to pass on to your mum?
You okay, Fig? Rebellion. Hoping to be sneaky, but twice it has forced me out of that path. Okay, Fig's already down here. I suppose that's the quick way down. Seller. Goblin Valley. tracks. They're a step ahead of us. Let's see where they lead. This must be it. The store of magic and the source of Ranrock's power. It looks empty. If they've taken all of it, why are they still here? Ranrock said there's more to be found, and if he's right about that, it may or may not be located here. Wherever it is, we need to find it before they do. Where is that portrait? Revelio. There he is. I heard something. I was hoping that was you. Professor Rookwood, the goblins and dark wizards who've overrun your castle are digging for stores of magic and have broken open some sort of container. No. Things are more dire than I could have imagined. If, as you told Percival, a goblin in his vault was wielding a powerful magic, then they have somehow learned it cannot be. And so, what? they know you were a keeper. Ranrock used the term. This makes no sense. How did... We shall discuss this later. Right now, you must complete the next trial. Sir, surely I've proven myself. In light of what's happened, perhaps you should tell me everything now. The power you stand to wield must first be fully understood. The trials will ensure that. Power without hey, knowledge is dangerous indeed. In the wrong hands, we will simply have to outwit Ranrock and my unfortunate namesake. Very well, Professor. Tell me where I need to go. I shall reveal the path. Professor Fig must leave you now. Rebellion. I would join you if I could. I shall await your arrival in the map.
Rebellion. Need to reposition that pillar to climb out of here. Perhaps the archway is the answer. Accio, Guardian Leviosa. I didn't even need it. Rebellion. Oh. Rebellion. Are they now? That pillar is blocking the path. I'll need to move it. Is there any way to reposition this archway? There we go.
Okay. I just got knocked off and died. I need to proceed to the left here, but how? Perhaps I'm to hit a mark on the far wall. That sort of thing has repositioned the archways in the past. Oh. He opened it. Ow. We 
Preparer. Wingardium Leviosa. Hitting those marks readjusts the objects. Perhaps there's a way forward from the other side of this one. Didn't even get what I won from. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. Yep. Rebellion.
right, is it? Got it. Oh, big boy.
Oh, I didn't cast it fast enough. And he's down! I did it! What a relief. I'm a level 30 wizard! And barely halfway through the trials! Rebellion. Say, I'm curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Do you come in? Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father. These are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Sedora. What have you done? I took his pain. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. Thank you. That's what Ranrock's taking, isn't it? You're back, and in one piece, no less. There's that one, that one. There has to be a reason why this is going. It is good to see you again. Professor Rookwood told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. In light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep the second artifact safe as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? What was the glowing strand that Isadora pulled from her father's chest? It was 
Pain. You will understand more about her actions as you complete the trials. I'm ready for whatever comes next. In that case, introductions are in order. Allow me to introduce former Hogwarts headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. How do you do? I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. I am certain that you are more than capable of completing my trial. However, I must first, how shall I say, prepare the location of your next trial. We trust your judgment, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of, well... A vainglorious and exasperating headmaster? Indeed I should. I shall confirm that everything is in order immediately. Of course. Professor Fitzgerald needs some time to clear the way forward. Until then, you should continue to hone your magic. If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. Very well, Professor. Well then. I know, I know. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. Hopefully you will soon hear from Lodgok as well. And we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. Well done today, as always. We shall speak again soon. In eat. Oh, it's winter. Okay, first things first. That's it. I'm making good progress with those tokens. Or more? Natty told me about your run in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can you Rebellion. What I uncovered has to do with you. When you have a moment, please stop by the Womb of Requirement. Deke mentioned you might be ah. interested in learning how to breed beasts. I can use that for extra income. But that is all we have the time for for now. Next time, we will go talk to Natty and then learn how to breed beasts. Until then, I hope everyone has a fantastic evening.